Hello to everybody, this is your boy coming at you with another video. Um, this video is pertaining to um, this box right here, which, which says fragile. Here, it says it's fragile, but inside the box, there are some special books in here. Um, this is actually Collector's Corner, Volume 4, Number 3, I believe. Is it number three or number four? One of the one of the two. I think it's I think it's number um three. I think I'm I think it's three. But uh anyway, this what this box pertains to has comics in it. And I, I've had this box for a month now, and most particularly because of the fact is I had so many other comic books that I was displaying for you guys on video or YouTube land for all that matter. Um this is actually non Eagles related, no non football related whatsoever. So and basically, so the only box right here. Um, I've told a bunch of YouTubers who have subscribed to my channel that I do a bunch of variety of videos, not just Eagles content, but I also do comic books. I do other books. I do uh, uh, um, unboxing, etc., etc., etc. But you can consider this actually an unboxing, but not actually really unboxing because what's in the box, I've already exposed what was in the box. I've told you already, so you got some idea what's in it. But for comic books, concerned, I'm not exactly which one that I ordered. So, this is from a comic book company called Inferno Comics, who I ordered from. And for the simple fact, for the past two months, Inferno Comics has not been on live because from what I got from them, they had run out of comics to sell. And so, they they have comic books to sell, but in the old one that we've seen in the past, and so, in other words, the one that they weren't able to sell. So, they want to get some new ones to um, display on video for us to buy, but I haven't seen, as I said, uh, I haven't bought anything from them in a while, and actually, this is the last box that I bought from them. Um, I'm not sure exactly when they're gonna ship the other one, because the other one was $23. I'm not sure exactly when they're gonna send, well, I'm not sure exactly when they're gonna send, no, but it's already paid for. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and let you guys see what's in this container or this box for this matter. I got my box cutter. I normally have a lucky number one knife, but that's in the other room. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one in particular to open the box up and show you its content so you guys can be very clear what I have in here. I know I'm clear because, like I said, this is me opening up this, this box for the first time. So I'm opening it up now as we speak with knife cutting between the latches, all in all. And as I always to tell you guys, that um, this in front of comments type their stuff with the best of good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my, I got a total of six small boxes in, in here. So I'm not exactly sure what's in them. So let me give you guys a, a, a demonstration what's in them. See? This, oh, this, this is just packing here, but see, you see the boxes right here? One, one. Two, three, four, five, six, six boxes. So, and this is their card right here. It's their card, front of comments right there. Okay, they, they put that in all their comic books packaging. So, all right, let's start with the first package here. Okay, okay, they, they, they got them in order. Uh, five orders, five orders, uh, five orders. Five dollars, fifteen dollars. Okay, well that's defensive ones, and ten dollars. They, 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 they got them in, in order. So, what I'm gonna do is show two five dollar ones here. See, they, they, they got my name on it right there. That's my name. That's my uh, Facebook name right there. All right. I'm gonna start with this first. Go. This is the one I get out and wrapped out first. So I'm gonna start with this one right away. See, all right. All right. Nice little stack up in there, and then the, and then the container itself. All right. 
So, I hope you guys are pleased with I'm about to display and show for you guys at the particular moment because uh, it's been a long time since I actually done a comic book video. I want to say maybe about three weeks, maybe maybe three weeks probably. I want to say I, want, I think it's been three weeks to my far to, to my farthest. No, about three weeks because my um, friend of mine she had the COVID nineteen virus, so um, it's been and it's been been two weeks now. Maybe been two weeks since she's been off the virus, but she's back in effect now and. Well taken care of. All right, here's the stack here that I got out of this. Okay, here's the stack right here. Let's see what I have to show you guys. Oh my, that's a good one there. Wow. Okay. Wow, these some good ones. These are some good old ones, ladies and gentlemen. These are some good old ones. Ooh, that's the one I will, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes right there. Oh my. Okay. Um, okay, put all the old ones in one sector. Okay, that's an old one right there. And this is an old one. And that's an old one. Okay, all these here are old ones right here. Okay. There's some old ones here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start with the older ones, and then I'm going to show you guys the new ones right quick. Alright, here we go. Um, this here is the Incredible Hulk 177 and 178. It's 177 right here. As you can see, that's Hulk. And that's him going to get the, um, the Warlock right there. It's not the first appearance of the Warlock, but this is actually the Warlock. Maybe his second or third appearance. It says, to save all of Counter-Earth, the Hulk must die. Um... In this issue, it really happened. The death of a superhero. Um, battle, uh, that battle the power of Warlock. So, it has not on the back, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's in the Silver Age, um, Silver Age, uh, 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 plastic here. Taped up real well. And here is the, one, this Hulk 178, right here, 178. As you can see there, and once again, it's in the, um, Silver Age, Silver Age, um, plastic. Um, this he says here, you killed Hulk's friend. For that, Hulk will destroy you. Uh, in this issue, Death of Warlock, the fate of a universe. Um, destroy you, destroy the world. And here he is here going up against, um, one, two, three. Look like he's going up against a, quite a few creatures right there. On, 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 on this side here, there's the Warlock there. A cop below with a gun. Look like he fired a pistol at the Incredible Hulk there. We all know the Incredible Hulk is bulletproof and um, bullets can't penetrate the skin of the Hulk. But these are some pretty good issues of the Hulk. 177 here, 177, and 178 of the Hulk. These are some good issues. Very good issues. I can't believe I got some good ones there. Okay. And I have here a couple of Spider Man books here. And these are some, some older ones. I'm going to start with this one first. This one here, The Amazing Spider-Man 167. 167, right there. On top there, 67, as you can see. Uh, 30 cent coming book, um, 1977. It says here, caught between the murderous might of the spider player. And then it says here, and the stunning power of, of, of the marvels, of, of Marvel's most shocking new superstar. I'm not exactly who that is, but they, they, they kind of appear to be in some type of flying dab. I can't exactly see who that is, but with who is he, 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 he fighting the basic Spider-Man right there, and it says it looks like it's going to be one of those days. Now, the Spider Slayer, I think I think I heard him once before. I'm not sure that's his first appearance, but I have heard of him before. And this right here is... Now, this one here is the Amazing Spider-Man. The same, same, but it's the annual number... Number 10 came out in 1976, King Size Annual here. But now, this here is the first appearance of this guy here. He that no, he knows the human fly. It says here, double size dynamite as Spidey battles the most sensational new villain of all for the life of J. Jonah Jason, 
they call him the human fly. Um, this guy in the yellow and green costume right here and with the wings. As you can see very carefully, that's a fly. There's a man in the fly costume here. And that's his name, the human fly. And I'm saying, I'm thinking this is his first appearance right here, I believe. And this is probably a pretty good valuable issue. I got it for $5, off, but this issue probably cost a little bit more than 5 bucks in reality. So, but if this book were to get graded, it will probably worth a little bit more than than what I bought for it. Because um, this is the perfect appearance of the human fly. Human fly is not a... This is actually a key book, but it's not a off the chop type or a hot title rather. Called the Human Fly. It's not written no hot character. I think I think this is I think, I think I think this might be his first and only appearance in the Amazing Spider-Man number ten, annual number ten. I think it's the only appearance that I can think of. I don't think his origin was revealed or anything of that nature, but it's actually one book I'm gonna have to read. Like it's Amazing Spider-Man one sixty seven. Mason Spider-Man number 10, annual 10, king size annual 10. All right. Now, I'm going to show you um, Journey into Mystery number 10. Uh, 20, 20 cent comic book. Um, see, Journey into Mystery. And that's a big character there. It says here, nothing can match the sheer raw power of Tim of Tim Bula, or Tim Booba. The world smasher and it says here earth earth defied me and so the earth must perish and he appears to be one big guy because he got a couple people here in his hands so he saw that so so it's so that's so self-evident he's a big man but the earth smasher that's something that i kind of never heard of before um tim booba the earth smasher so this is actually journey to mystery um, I won't say this is a key book, but like I said, it's not a hot title, but it's a key book. Let me three number 10. All right. And here is um, Creatures, Creatures on the Loose, number 19, a 20 cent comic book. Right there. Get a good look at it, as you can see. Um, it says, Puny Human, have you have invaded the land of Rakar, and now, and here you die. Here, here you will die. I'm not exactly sure who that character is, but it says here known as the Red Barbarian of Mars. So I'm assuming that's what this this guy here is, or that's what the creature's name. Well, the creature name says said Rock Bar, Rock Hard. That's the creature name. So I'm assuming so I'm assuming the Red Barbarian of Mars is probably this guy here. So I'm not sure if this is actually a key book or or a first pair. I'm not exactly sure, but it's called Creatures on the Loose. And it's kind of frightening if you look at the character. If you look at the, the character himself, he's kind of freaky, scary looking. So, it's, it, it, it looks like a pretty good book. When I bought it, I said it's five dollar title. Ain't nothing special about it, so it ain't hot. So it is what it is. All right. And here is the last older one. This one called "It's Midnight, The Witching Hour." And at the bottom it says a, a time to live, a time to die. And from the looks of it. As a ghost character in a wagon with a ghost horse, and here's some people, here's some update people here in a car there, and, and they're pointing at the pointing at the people or the or, or, or the character that's in the light of the moon. So apparently these these people was, was out on, on a romantic date, but this character on the horse came and ruined their night, and that's why it says to a time to live, a time to die. Number twenty nine, which an hour came out in. 19, the 19th, I'm not exactly sure what day it is, but it's a, it's a book, it's, it's in good shape, so can't wait to read it, it's a good book, it's an older one, 20 cent coming book, alright, now, the two I want to show you guys right quick, um, one of these titles are kind of, well, actually, both the titles are up to date, but, on, but of the two, only one of them is valuable, so I'm going to show you this here, Civil War, the director's cut number one. As you can see very carefully, that's, that's um, Spider-Man over here. And right here is the Captain America. And there's some false here on the side at the bottom there. Look like it's the Fantastic Four, maybe. Dr. Strange, among other characters. And it says here, director's cut number one. See, director's cut number one. Number one title there. Up to that book, and, and it's also in a Silver Age type 
um, type of thing, but it's a pretty big book. Yeah, yeah, that's weight on it. So, it's been probably a 64 page book, but got a little weight to it. I can fit away with us. It's a very heavy book here. And so, but for it to be in a silver age plastic would mean it got to be worth a little something. I'm not exactly sure, but it may be, but I don't know. know. Alright, and here's the one that's valuable right here. Spider Gwen. This is one of the hot titles that have been around for the past two, maybe, maybe three years. Spider Gwen, number one. She appeared in, I think, one of the Spider Man action cartoons that came on Disney at one point. Uh, Spider Gwen is actually a new character on, on, on the Spider Man scene, the Spider Verse scene, brother. A lot of people that don't know, but Spider Man has expanded in a lot of titles. You can go, you can start with Venom. Um, you can start with Spider Gwen herself. And there's Silk. There's other characters that that has evolved over the years. That's part of the cut from Spider Man. So Spider Gwen is one of the hot titles. She's number one. You can see there. And 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 this is actually the variant. It's a variant copy. So that's one reason why I actually got it. Cause it's a variant copy. It's a hot title, but it's actually it's, it's also a key book. So, um, but I'm not exactly how much, I'm not exactly sure how much it actually costs, but it's actually a pretty good book, and I, and I like it. I'm not glad I purchased it. All right, now the other one, the last one, the last one I'm gonna show you guys right quick. But I said I'm trying to cut the video down quick as possible, and since, and since I got four more books to show you guys. Um, this is the last one I'm going to show. And I'm going to show the other two probably during the course of either, either, either sometime this month or I might show it or I might do one um, next month. I'm not exactly so sure, but it depends on the situation because I, I also mentioned in, in one of my videos that we're in the process of moving. So I'm surprised I was able to, to get this one here done. For you guys because um what super fact is these books are, are off the chain i want to show you guys and like i said i showed you a total of what's that one two three four five six seven hold on hold on hold on hold on one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So I told you nine books so far. So now I got they, they may be um a little more than nine or maybe or maybe less than nine. Not exactly sure. But when I get to my new place, I plan my mission to have to have myself a man cave. I want a man cave so much I tell so I have my, all my face, all my things that I want put in one specific area. So alright. Now, okay, here we go. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, I was hoping I would. I hope I wouldn't see that, but I got it. Got it anyway. Oh well. All right. Recall getting that one, okay. And this one here, I ain't gotta show it again because I've already showed it before in, recent, in a recent video. Okay, I remember getting that one. I remember getting that one. Oh my, okay. This is this some pretty good ones right here. I ain't, I ain't realized I had as many good ones. Alright, put the old ones on one side and the new ones on the other. Okay, alright, here we go. Okay, alright. Let me get with the old ones first. Because I'm gonna I'm carrying that I'm carrying that 19 minutes in video time. So okay. I showed you guys the Incredible Hulk 177, 178, but his Incredible Hulk 203. 203 and it says if one cyclop is more than a match for you man brute 
what chance do you stand against an army of us? It says assault on Cyclops. And look like he's in the air. He's not, he's not suspended in the air, but he's in the air going up against three Cyclops characters there with one eye. And I'm not exactly sure exactly what character or they are. Not sure if it's a main book or character or, or key book, but it may be. I'm not exactly sure. So I'm not gonna sell so I'm not gonna so, so I'm not gonna speci uh, specify. Alright. Here is um Kazar, Law of the Hidden Jungle, number six. I I, I think I should hold you guys some Kazar books in, in recent video. I also have Kazar number one raw and I also has Kazar number one in the slab. The slab cost me a hundred dollars, but the raw book was about twenty five twenty five thirty dollars. The raw book was Called it's, a, called, 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 called it's a key book. So this is number six here, and it says here, Beast God of the Lost River. All new adventures of the of, of the greatest jungle hero ever. A quest for vengeance, a taste of death. Him and and that's him, him, him and his um him and his his safety tiger Sabu. That they take on, on a giant dinosaur apparently it look like a it look, it look like a dinosaur of the sea. Cause I see fins here and, and right there. So they gotta be a sea a, a sea creature they're going up against right there. Case of number six. Alright. And here is uh Spider-Man Marvel Tales star Spider-Man number 170. Um if this be my destiny. Right there, and, and this, you see, you see a newsstand. You see a newsstand right there. See, you see the barcode newsstand. Um, it said dedicated to you, the great new model breed of reader, breed of readers. And it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like six adventures, or maybe three adventures. It said model tales, so I'm assuming three adventures. Three adventures. Adventures. 1984, 60 cent comic book. So, Right, put that to the side, and then here is one that's new but not really new. Um, this is the X Force number one. This is the second print, special edition of the new of the of, of Marvel's hardest mutant team. And this is number one. It says second print. Someone put a second print tag on it so they can know that what it is. Hold on, see, 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 see a little moss, a little, a little green thing of this. It's second print, so. Um, and, and, and how much, how much, how much the first print cost? So second print is okay to have, and um, I had to get it because the super fact that it's cable, and uh, and, and, and it look like, look, look like it's a wraparound cover there. I think I think it is because you can see the character, see the arm of the character that's missing. So I'm assuming this is a, this is a wraparound cover here. Number one, F Force One. I do got an Air Force issue in there, but it's not, but it, it, it's like six or seven, so. And here is Shogun Warrior number eight. Um, number eight, and then under, under, under this eight is number nine. It's number nine, War Beneath the Waves. Shogun, see, take on this giant creature there. And it said, Invincible Guardians of World Freedom. Now, if you guys ain't familiar with, with, with Shogun Warriors, um, Shogun Warriors is actually a cutting book series of giant robots that, that defend the Earth against um, other robots or other villains that comes on Earth or with may on Earth who try to take over Earth. So Shogun Warriors is actually robots that are alive. I don't think I don't think I don't think humans control the robots. I think humans don't control them at all. I think they're more robotic, but they are mechanically alive. So, number eight, and number nine of the Shogun Warriors, and um, last but not least, the final two that I want to show. This here, here it is the Return of Wolverine number one. Return of Wolverine number one. Not exactly sure what book this costs, but it's a recent book that was made some years ago, maybe two, maybe three years ago. But it's number, it's number one book, as you can see right there. As you can see there. All right. And then, last but not least, Wonder Woman number one. 
and this is supposed this I think I think this is a variant copy, but it may be the uh, it may be the standard copy. As you can see, this book came out in '96 right here, so they give you some idea indication of what kind of book it is. Like I say, one one everybody know one one is kind of a hot title right now going on. Ever since the last, the first two books that came out with uh, Justice League. And back to back one one back to back one woman movies, her titles have been kind of hot lately. But to get this for five bucks, that's a good deal. It's a good deal. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna go and show y'all this coming book, but, 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 but this coming book I've already uh, showed before because I've already got the book already. This here is Catwoman here. I I posted this video some months ago because I got this come book from from the same. Um, company in front of comments, and I ordered that comic book once, and then I ordered it again by mistake because I forgot that I had it. So this is the one I, did, I really didn't want to show, but I'm probably gonna. I, I might sell it. It it depends on. I might sell it. I might not. It depends on how I feel about the comic book. So I might keep it. So um, I'm not sure on it yet, but I probably will. But anyway, that's the name of this. At, at, at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you can do, do a few things for me. Subscribe at the bottom of the um, the video. Comment in the comment section below. Uh, press the like button so when you press it, you know that my video is being is being sponsored by you, and it can be shared all over YouTube land so I can get more subscribers. And last but not least, as I always say, share, share, share. Cause when you care, and when you share. I care, and when you when I care, that means the whole YouTube land cares. So anyway, this is your board green talents. This is Collector's Corner, Volume Four, Number Three. I think Number Three. I want. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with Three. If not Three, then you know I made a mistake. It's Number Four. So anyway, peace, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye bye.